Hello everyone, I'm here to let you know what's happening in the next season in my life. Uh, as most of you know, I'm heading to the United States of America, and I'm excited. I'm heading over there to work as a camp counselor at a summer camp in Arkansas. I'm really excited because, you know, I'm, I'm getting to work with all these kids in America of different backgrounds, of different ages, and different personalities all come together at a summer camp where we're going to have fun, adventure, but also be able to equip them, empower them and encourage them to be more than they realise that they could be, to understand their compatibilities and their capacity and also their identity in who they are and in God. I'm truly excited for this opportunity. And there are three main reasons that I'm really excited for myself personally. And the first one is that I truly believe that it's been a season of trusting in God with my future. As if you know me well enough, you know that I'm a planner, I'm an enforcer. I like to work out things when they're going to happen, how they're going to happen, and have them within my control and I also make it happen. I, I go out, I do things, I make things happen in my life. And um, I was encouraged to learn how to trust in God with my future. Because as I was planning things, as I was, as I was trying to enforce other things to happen in the future, I was neglecting things in the present. I was forgetting the now. There were some times where I was so invested in my future that I was missing out the opportunities of today. And part of that process has been just putting it to bed. I'm not saying just forget about your future, but just not being so worried or hung up in planning your future but rather trusting in God that if I carry myself well today, if I do the things that I need to do today and tomorrow, God's going to have the next steps planned for me. As it says in Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6, trust in the Lord with all your understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. Lean on Him and He will make your path straight. And I think that's just part of the process has been of releasing everything that I have releasing my job, releasing the ministry that I was currently in, releasing all the things that I was planting myself in, in order to go to USA and be part of this summer camp experience and learn as much as I can there and enjoy myself there. But the reality of what's happening after, I do not know what's gonna happen. So it is kind of scary not really understanding or knowing what I'm gonna do after summer camp but it's actually helping me enjoy today so much more because that's the only thing that I can really focus on now. And there are so many options that could, that could happen after camp. About believing and I'm praying and I'm trusting in God that He's got the best plan for me, that He's going to position me where I'm meant to be in my life and receive for the way. And the second one is, the reason why I want to do this experience is I'm believing that it's out of my comfort zone. You know, I've gotten comfortable the last three, four years pretty much doing the same thing every day. You know, studying, doing a ministry course, doing youth, uh, working in the same job, four or five shifts a week, being around the same people. Not that it's a bad thing, but I found myself becoming comfortable. And, and a lot of people would be telling me, you know, if you actually step outside your comfort zone, if you actually find yourself being good scared, where you're not sure what's gonna happen, but you wanna step out in faith because you believe that it's gonna be good, that things are gonna, Un be unlocked in your life, things are going to uh, actually shift in your life, you're actually going to bring out things that you didn't realise that you had with it, you're going to empower yourself to do so much more, because what happens in these situations where you need to step out, travel to another country, go into a place where you don't know anybody, go into a place where you're doing a different experience, aside from the usual job that you used to work, to a different job, um, you, you have to stretch yourself in ways that you never thought you, you needed to, or you never thought you had within yourself. I truly believe that experience, in this experience of uh, being with these kids, whether they're seven year olds or whether they're 17 year olds, you know, being their camp counselor, being their adult, being their leader, but also being their friend, it's gonna help me become more confident in, in who I am and the impression that I can make on these kids and building these relationships with these amazing kids that I'm gonna meet over my nine weeks of summer camp. And thirdly, the reason why I want to go over there is just the experience. I felt like I was doing the same thing over and over again. I said to myself at the start of this year that I wanted to do something different. And summer camp was 
just the most obvious way and the easiest way and also the best way and the most practical way to do something different, to stretch myself, to, to build up myself, to, to empower myself to do so much more than I could realize, to equip myself, to, to challenge myself a bit, see how far I can go, see how much I can push myself. And I truly believe that in this experience, I'm going to um, just have the time of my life, but as well come back a better person, a stronger person, a person who is more assured of, of himself and in God. And I truly believe that over my time in America, in the summer camp, and whatever happens after, God is going to really show me things that I, that I never realized, that I never understood. And it's going to bring a light to a lot of things about myself, about the world, about people, about himself. And I just wanted to encourage you, to inspire you. How can you challenge yourself today? And uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And I'm sure the next time I see you in a video, I'll be coming from America. Till next time.